Welcome to Highways and Byways. I'm your host, Chris Carlisle. I took some vacation time from my job last week, and I went to an Astros game, and I took a tour of Global Life Field where the Texas Rangers play. I stayed home all day on Saturday and watched television. I had groceries delivered from Walmart. I ate a tombstone pizza for lunch, and I ate a hamburger for supper. I went to Houston last Sunday and saw the Astros play the Seattle Mariners in the last game before the All-Star break. My sister and her family went too, and we left Temple a little after 8.30 in the morning. We stopped at a McDonald's in Hearn and got a breakfast. I had a sausage and egg McMuffin and drank some orange juice. We sat in section 134 in the field boxes. I got a Colt 45's t-shirt and a hot dog and a Coke. The Astros lost to the Mariners 3-1. The promotion was Princess Day and little girls dressed up as princesses. We stopped at a Golden Corral and College Station for supper. I got home around 6. On Monday, I again mostly stayed home, although I did go to uh, and get a uh, burrito and taco from Taco Bell for lunch. Since it was the All-Star break for baseball, I was went up to Arlington and went on a tour of the uh, Rangers' new ballpark, Global Life Field, which opened in 2020. I was the only one on the tour, and I got taken to one of the luxury boxes. I saw PA announcer Chuck Morgan's booth, and saw a giant bobbleheads of Hall of Fame pitcher Nolan Ryan and Adrian Beltre. I made a video of it and posted it on my YouTube channel. Before I went on the tour, I went to uh, Lockhart Smokehouse in Texas Live and ate some brisket, ribs, and two brisket deviled eggs and drank a Coke. After the tour, I went to the Global Life Field gift shop and I got a book about the Rangers' first 50 years in Texas, covering moments like the first game played at Arlington Stadium in 1972, the first solid in 1973 when 18 year old David Clyde started a game against the Minnesota Twins after graduating from high school and leading his team to a state championship in the, fr the first ring season 1974 where they finished in second place by the Oakland A's who would go on to win their third straight World Series and were managed by Billy Martin, Nolan Ryan's 5,000 strikeout, 300th win, 6th and 7th no hitters, Kenny Rogers' perfect game, the franchise's first division title in 1996, and first American League pennant in 2010. After I got done at the gift shop, I went back to Texas Live and I got two t shirts at a store called Baseballism. The shirts were Wonder Boy from the 1984 movie The Natural with Robert Redford, and a t shirt with the Ghost Players from the 1919 Chicago White Sox walking out of the cornfield in the 1989 movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner and James Earl Jones. I stopped at Don Carlos's off of I-35 in Waco and I ate a fiesta, fajita taco, some enchiladas, some Spanish rice, refried beans, some tortilla chips and chili con queso, and drank a soda. I got home a little after 6 o'clock at night. On Wednesday I went and saw the new Indiana Jones movie and no, I'm not going to give any spoilers. After the movie, I went and ate some chicken tenders at Texas Roadhouse. On Thursday, I went and ate a cheeseburger at Rattleboro Country Grill. I had some clothes to my sister's to dry. I also did curbside pickup at Walmart. I watched some more television. I watched the uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, The Fall Guy, binge watched a season of BBQ Pitmasters on Discovery Plus, and three discs to a volume one of the Monday Night Wars. Before I go, here's a word from the uh, 31st Psalm, verse 19. It says, many, and the, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. I want to say thank you for hitting the download button wherever you hear this on. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.